So my sister just had a baby, and you know, I've been reading all these books about what you're supposed to do with newborn babies. And to be honest, it's quite terrifying. Are you listening? Alan. 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 You visited your creepy wonderland again, haven't you? We just got promoted to being detectives and you want to ruin it for yourself by starting a family. That's an early career suicide. I'm ready for that. I can manage. It's more ridiculous than your case theories. Here she is. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, why are we doing this again? Fuck off, Simon. Fuck you. You said you're in. Yeah, I'm in. It's just, what's your deal with this? This case drives me crazy. These visions for three months. Fuck's sake. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't think straight. Ever since that sadist started butchering families three months ago. I just want to see the new scene without the fucking lieutenant or idiot technicians up my ass. I want some peace and quiet in there. Well, can I just go home then? Home? You're a fucking cunt. No, I need you in there. I know. I know, I'm sorry. You coming? Why are you taking this case so personally anyway? Uh, I don't know. That's why I'm here to find out. You reckon it's the firemen again? Well, they were obsessed with families. Are they out already? Could be. We'll check later. <coughs> She's reliable. again. I, uh... Come on. Let's go look around. Hey! Do you remember our first case together? You conducted that shop in the baton. Hmm. Yeah. Then you figured it out. You all thought they could have used an ice cool like in Basic Instinct. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty obsessed with that film. <sighs> There's the mother. My son to learn music. Could we just focus on the case? All right. He beat the woman unconscious, grabbed her by the hair, brought her to her knees, and then stabbed her in the back of her head. He's strong and furious. God save his soul. He gutted the father and then used his hand as a brush. He deserved it. What'd you say? What? You need a holiday. 
I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think it is. But you're still whining about having a baby since I came back from my last one. Yeah, you were on holiday when I told you. That, and also I had to come back with the site past victims not to show you up. Yeah, they brought you back from your holiday. Monster. I stayed in London where everyone with the necessary profiling experience went on holiday abroad. Same here, except I was on duty. Well, it's unbelievable it's been three months, it feels like years. <sighs> feels like years indeed. I wish I didn't come here. Come on, mate, relax. Relax? What happened here is terrible. That poor little boy was too young to protect the family from that disgusting piece of shit. What little boy? What? What are you talking about? The boy. There was no boy here. The boy that hid between the boxes. There was no one else in the warehouse. Alan. Alan, where are you going? Alan! There was no boy here. He killed the daughter in the office. skips containing the bodies of the previous victims was transported from another borough the same night they were murdered. It was the driver's last job before he went home to Eastern Europe that morning. His paperwork was sloppy and so was the transports so we couldn't find him or the location of the skip. Can you even hear me? All right, this guy's pretty nervous. Let's keep it light. Are you in here? This is where we found the little girl. You are too smart. You should have stayed at home. Alan! Alan, he's here, Alan, run! Dad can't have a family. He can't have a family either. We were having a nice dinner at the hotel when you called about your sister's new baby. The baby got a new family. Family's the biggest gift a man can give himself in the world. Congratulations. You're a lucky man.